Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. I want to start off this video by saying thank you to everybody who sent in feedback and continues to send in feedback versus the Rank Up Awakening Gem debate. This past weekend, as most of us I'm sure know, we had a chance at the top of the progression level to get a six star Romance Awakening Gem to be used on any Romance Champion, but the non-existent six-star Scarlet Witch Classic or six-star Wolverine, though I still hold that hope that someday, when it's probably irrelevant, they're going to make it into the game. But that was not the only high-end item we had a chance to purchase this weekend for Romance Champions. It also was the case that we had a chance to purchase this Rank 2 to Rank 3 Rank Up Gem from the Romance Rank Up, as long as it wasn't also champions that don't exist yet in the game scarlet witch and wolverine now i have been very clear and i'm going to start off by wiping my iso always do that to make sure rank up videos go by faster i've been very clear that it's really a case of awakening between kitty pride who's at rank two and archangel who's at rank one now, I think the smart thing for me to do, and it's not the easiest thing in the world to do, but I don't use her today, this is a like long-term investment, is to continue to be patient and wait until, I don't know, at least the end of the month, but maybe even longer than that, to see if I can pull Kitty Pride from a six-star featured crystal. I know she's in the basic, and who knows, maybe I'll land her in the basic, not the featured, but in theory, you have 4.2% chance to get her, even though two of the last featured crystals I've opened have resulted in truly uh, disappointing results from the likes of Old Balls Logan to Emma Frost. I like both those champions just fine, but as you can see, Emma is at SIG 60 as a 6 star, and Old Balls is at SIG 40. With that being said, I am so excited that she is already at rank two, and I know she's not awakened yet, and the awakened ability is good, but we're going to hide my screen for the uh, duration of this. Because we're gonna take that romance rank up gem. And I think what I'm gonna do is take a nice old screenshot of this too. Boom, done. And we are going to use it right now during the level up event. And Kitty goes meow all the way to rank three. Shout out those of you who listen to the Tom Grassi Packers YouTube channel. He is a creative genius. And I like to say Kitty goes meow for the Bengals, who unfortunately Kitty did not go meow uh, fully, but still. I'm very curious to see if I can get her to at least 19,000 PI. I plan to use her in the arena with Wasp and Ghost. That is my vision. Now here's the crazy thing. I don't know if it's crazy necessarily, but it's a Kitty Pride day. Because believe it or not, this is also a chance for me to rank up my four star that I've also been excited to rank up. So we're actually going to rank up both kitties today. So I love level up events. It gives you the equivalent of cash back, units back to rank up a champion. And I have the ghost wasp synergy. And yes, I know technically the best synergy for kitty is Tigra. I have a six-star unawakened Tigra, four-star Tigra, but I'm not going to rank them up just yet. That's a long-term commitment, which I will hopefully be for at some point. Now, the interesting thing is, with four stars, check this out. Kitty is now my third highest ranked four-star. Even though I do Doctor Doom, Red Guardian, and Black Widow, Deadly Origin. Now, in terms of rank threes that are six-stars that are not awakened, Kitty holds that top spot well above Warlock, who's at 17,250 PI as a rank three. And now Kitty is 19,040. Now, 
if I still don't have Kitty Pride because of a long-term investment in that awakened ability, I am going to use the awakening gem on her. Because there's never been a moment, really, where the, I've used 5-star Archangel yet, and I still use him fairly sparingly, where I'm like, man, if only I had the 6-star. But Kitty Pride not only benefits more from being rank 3, I believe, than Archangel does, but I think because of that, the awakened ability will come in handy a lot sooner. So you all have shown me the light, and I have hopefully seen it through my thick, bald-ish skull. And I am now on the uh, path to enlightenment because I appreciate your feedback as much, if not more, than you appreciate mine. I always have something to learn. Just because you teach college classes doesn't mean you know not only everything, but in a lot of ways, anything. <laughs> I'm probably the best uh, showcase of that. So thank you for the feedback, everybody. Kitty is now ranked three, but we're holding off on that Awakening Gem until we continue to open six stars. Because you know what happens in this game. The minute you use an Awakening Gem, my man Captain Bay showed this twice. They give you the champion. He got his generic six-star Awakening Gem used on Nick Fury, which is a really smart move on paper, but then immediately pulled him a couple times. So Captain Bay, I don't want to be a new version of that with Kitty, so we're going to hold off as long as we can. And then when I need to use her and I don't have any other choice, I'll pop it into her.